up. <laughs> and the first thought I had this morning was, Sean Strickland, the UFC champion? Like, honestly, I didn't fucking believe it. I woke up and I was like, surely that was all a dream. Like, surely this was all, like, a weird dream. Because how the fuck? And then the first thing I do this morning was literally go and look at Sean Strickland's Wikipedia page. And I see on Sean Strickland's Wikipedia page, you know, fucking, <laughs> I just see Sean Strickland is an American mixed martial artist. He currently competes in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. UFC, where he's the current UFC middleweight champion. I, I still, it still hasn't fucking computed that we're in the midst of the fucking Strickland era of middleweight. But I, I wanted to mention, I've seen a lot of people saying that Israel Adesanya looked off in that fight. He looked off because of Sean Strickland's style. I don't think people realize that. Like, it wasn't that Israel Adesanya had an off night. It's just he's never dealt with somebody like Sean Strickland, a pressure boxer who's completely in your face. And, you know, he just doesn't go away. He's like a, you know, he's obviously his output's not as high, but he's very similar to like a Max Holloway type fighter. Like, he's just constantly in your face. And he's not going to leave. He's not going to go away. Like, that was an annoying thing I've seen. A lot of people saying that Israel looked off. It's like, no, I, I just think Sean Strickland was fucking Adesanya's nightmare matchup. And we all just didn't think... Like, honestly, in hindsight, I can understand how Sean Strickland was actually a nightmare matchup for Adesanya. We've seen Adesanya's, you know, have a bit of difficulty with the jab of Robert Whittaker in the rematch. You know... He was he was catching him with that jab a lot. He was just, you know, he was winning rounds. And, you know, that was a 50-50 fight that could have gone either way, the Whitaker-Adesanya rematch. But he was literally just winning with one hand as well. He didn't even throw his other hand in that fight. He was literally just jabbing with one hand. And, you know, there was obviously... You could tell there was a lot of flaws in Israel Adesanya's boxing. But I don't know, hindsight's 50-50 now, and like, I look back at it and I'm like, fuck, Sean Strickland really did have a great chance if, if, you, if we all really paid attention. But I guess because his style was so ugly, you know, the way he, he parries shots and everything, you know, he doesn't look defensively sound, but he does have the highest defense at middleweight. And I guess a lot of us thought that maybe that was just the level of competition he was fighting and, you know, how there's like a big gap between the middleweights, like the top five and the other middleweights, but... I guess maybe we're, like, maybe we're just wrong here, man, like, because, honestly, like, I think Jack Marshman gave Sean Strickland a harder fight than Adesanya, and that's not even, like, a joke. Like, I don't know, it's, it's weird how this sport works. Like, yeah, I don't know, this is, this sport is insane, but... Yeah, it's still, it's still, it's not, it's going to take a while before it truly sets in that we're in the Sean Strickland era, I feel like. Like, yeah, I don't know, it's weird. We are in a weird fucking era. Like, like, yeah, I, I don't know. It's, just, it's, it's, it's going to take a while before this sets in, I feel like. But, uh. Sean Strickland's the man. I thought he beat Jared Cannonier just to add to a point, but it is funny and like looking back that he was on a two fight losing streak, you know, and then <laughs> beats two unranked guys and then beats Adesanya. But yeah, I feel like it's going to take a while before this truly sets in. Maybe I'm alone here. Maybe it's already set in for everyone else, but I guess I was in so much disbelief about this that yeah, it's just it's going to take a fucking long, long time for this to completely like set in. But it, it, it's, it's our reality. You know, there's no denying it. Jack Hermanson gave... Uh, yeah, J Jack Hermanson gave fucking Sean Strickland a harder fight than Israel Adesanya, and it's not even a joke. Like, yeah, we're, we're just... We're in that timeline. We're, we're in a very... 
very different timeline. But I like it. This is a cool timeline to be in. But uh, yes, yeah, still in disbelief. And I, I, here's the thing, you guys. It's it's gonna take a while before I come to the realization. Jesus Christ, that didn't sound like Sean Strickland. I guess I've been doing the impression so much that it's just completely fucked my throat. <clears throat> Let me try that again. Here's the thing, you guys. There we go. But yeah, fucking... Yeah, Sean, Sean Strickland's the champ, and... Uh, yeah, middleweight. Middleweight division. Don't ever don't ever bet on a middleweight fight. Like, just, just don't. Or if you do, bet on the fucking massive underdog, because middleweight makes no sense. Always bet on the fighter who shouldn't win because yeah I don't know <laughs> middleweight just just isn't a real division <laughs> I think that I've come to that realization but yeah I guess all it takes to be easy is a Philly shell and uh, complete pressure But, yeah, I, uh, it's going to take a while before this completely sets in, but, uh, I guess it is what it is. It's still fucking awesome. Like, I love that there's, like, some change in the middleweight division. It was getting very stagnant, just, you know, like, I like Whitaker, but, you know, now that, uh, Now that uh, Whitaker and Izzy aren't the two top guys, it's like, I don't know, we're in a new era. Like, there's actually, like, I don't know, who knows who wins these fights? Like, I think Drikas Duplessis would probably beat Israel Adesanya. I was going to pick him after the Strickland fight, but, like, before it happened, I was expecting Izzy to beat, like, I was expecting Izzy to beat uh, Strickland, and then, yeah, then... I, I thought that uh, Drickus Duplessis was going to be Izzy, but now Strickland literally went in and beat the shit out of Izzy, so I'm definitely I'd pick Drickus. Different style, but I think I think he could have like I think he could actually catch Izzy or get him in a guillotine or something or just ground like take him down because he took down Robert Whittaker. But yeah, but it's a strange division. Uh, but uh. Yeah, I just thought I'd make this video, man, because I don't know if anyone else is feeling like this. <laughs> Leave a comment if you also can't believe that uh, Sean Strickland's the UFC champion. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, you know, let me know if, you, uh, if, you, if you're used to the Strickland era yet or if it still feels unreal. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.